I'm Bob Hallmark and I'm in Gregg County today and we are uh, actually talking today about spring and more importantly what happens on our waterways and that is uh, going to draw the attention of game wardens. As the weather warms uh, during May uh, we're going to have a lot more people coming out uh, to boat, uh, fishing, swimming, all of those things and all of those things are uh, the attention of uh, the game wardens because they're stressing safety. And uh, we're going to talk to a couple of them now. Uh, Great County Game Warden uh, Todd Long joins us, uh, along with uh, Upshur County Game Warden Nathan Skeen. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this. You guys are preparing already for what is going to be a rush to all of the waterways at this point. Yes, uh, every year, every May, uh, you know, the, the lakes right now are really healthy. Uh, the fish are biting. People are getting out of school. Uh, the lakes have never been busier than they are right now so we are stressing water safety boating safety as always people are used to seeing us coming up doing the boat inspections looking for life jackets fire extinguishers throw cushions all the, all the the safety stuff we're also stressing boaters take a water safety a boating safety class uh, avoid alcohol uh, have a designated driver be familiar with your equipment your boat be familiar with the weather uh, the lake that you're that you're fishing or swimming on uh, matter of fact take swimming lessons uh, supervise your children now these are just a few of the things that we encounter every day out here on the water and these are the things that people need to know because uh, a lot of people go in blind I mean they'll go in uh, thinking that maybe they've never taken a swimming lesson maybe they've never taken a boat or safety course that sort of thing all of those things factor in here correct don't wait until we show up to discover you don't have any of those items or or any of the swimming lessons etc or don't wait until there's a citation or there's an emergency on the water uh, stress that uh, be prepared be prepared and use common sense slow down out here uh, common courtesy will go a long ways out here on the water okay now Nathan if uh, if deer hunting season is uh, your peak busiest season I'm guessing that uh, the spring and the summer has to come in a pretty close second because you guys are really busy this time of year yeah for sure you got Memorial Day right around the corner uh, that kind of kicks off our water safety season uh, checking boats uh, hard on the lake or you know guys are gonna be starting to recreate more uh, besides just the fishing it's just gonna have your tubing and other stuff that's gonna be coming down you know skiing things like that uh, jet skis will be out sea dews um, so Memorial Day is coming up uh, but for sure make sure you have all your water safety stuff make sure you have all your required equipment we're sticklers on life jackets you know uh, nobody's waterproof um, you can you know replace uh, equipment you can replace uh, a boat but you can't replace a lot and the, and the important thing to remember here is just is to be prepared because a lot of the we, we just talked about it is uh, a lot of people will go into this and and maybe haphazardly and that's when you have problems when you make mistakes you have problems and that can you know result in an accident and, and that's that, those are the things you guys really don't want to work is this correct point? yeah always like Todd said have a plan um, my thing would be always let somebody know where you're gonna be you know hey if I'm going out to Lake Tyler if I'm gonna go out to Lake Palestine or, or Lake of the Pines hey we're launching here we, we're planning on being back by here that way if something does go bad or something does go wrong we uh, kind of have a point to start and, and a point to know where to come get you and help you out now, as always, we're going to stress this because we do it every year. Uh, it's one thing to go out and recreate and have fun, but when alcohol gets in the mix, uh, that's a major problem. And we always try to warn people this is not a good idea, particularly if you're operating a watercraft. Correct. You know, boats don't have brakes. You know, uh, a, a BWI, a boating while intoxicated, carries the same penalties as a, a driving while intoxicated on, on a, a roadway. So be prepared. Have, you know, a designated driver when you're on the boat. If you do have too many, and just be safe out there. Use common sense, common courtesy. Okay. Uh, and now, Todd, back to you. We, it's the kind of things you have to do to prepare for this. I'm guessing you guys make time in your schedule now uh, to be ready to go out and start checking people. We're going to be out there every day, especially on the weekends, come summertime as it approaches. We're watching for all of these factors on the water. We want to keep people safe. We're not trying to ruin someone's weekend by checking these items, et cetera. We're also hunters and fishermen, and, and we boat. We've got families out there. And there's different levels of experience out there. You're gonna see some folks who get out once a year, some who are out there every day. So 
prepare for that. Uh, prepare for the worst, we like to say. Um, contact the game warden if you get into trouble. If you need anything, go on our website. There's apps you can download. Uh, sign up for the boater's ed classes. Um, have a have a, a float plan like Nathan uh, talked about. Uh, just just be ready for the unexpected out there on the water. All right. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. All right, and we will have much more on this story tonight on KLTV 7 News for KLTV Web Extra. I'm Bob Hallmark.